What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today, like literally 10 minutes ago, Blackpink came out with their Pink Venom Rose Concept Teaser 2, aka the second concept teasers that we're getting out there from Rose. I want to have a look at this video because, hey, again, I want to see if we can pick anything up from the MV. You know, what is the style going to be? What is the concept that, that we're going to go with? But from so far, we can actually see that the entire idea behind it is that we are getting these dark, dark vibes from it. Anyway, I would just say, let's jump right into the video and see what it is all about. And again, guys, if you are curious for my reaction on the full MV on how it is filmed, what I think about the entire concept and really going into the depth of the video to see what we can pick apart and see what we can actually learn from it, then make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe but for now let's click the play button and let it play once and then we're gonna watch it again and analyze the video at its fullest it's always so short even though let's play it out actually even though this time it's seven seconds and not five seconds which is always nice Alrighty, so that is the video. It's like I said, it's literally only those seven seconds. But let's see what we can pick up and see what we can already like from the MV and what you maybe don't like or what I maybe don't like. What I do like about it is actually the makeup. The small details are actually a phenomenal here. Like for me, even those small little dots here in the eye, I don't know what they're trying to represent, but if they're going for that snake feel, maybe snakes have these dots here, I cannot really say, but it's really cool. There must be a reason for it. And again, if you are someone like a zoologist or something, please tell me, I would love to know why these dots are there. Maybe it's just an artistic choice. I can't really say, but I do like it. There must be a reason for it because these are very small details. And unless you see it, you can see it. On top of that, you can also see those little metal pieces on the lips. I think that's kind of cool. I think it's a very nice, it gives a bit of a rough edge to the entire video and we can also see that roughness in it you know these heavy blacks as we can see here i think like what 80 percent of the entire shot is actually black and the rest of it her face is nicely color graded also really cool again here with the fangs let's go back here we got the four fangs here and also we got a bit of slime coming down from it you know as if it's something that is still drooling and all the spit is still coming out of it or the venom is coming out of it i like that i like that idea as well again making the aesthetic a little bit more alive very nice and also if you look closer again well you don't even have to look closer you can literally see it everything here again is orientated on the blacks again those very very contrasting colors also really cool effect here i don't know what it is but in my opinion it looks like they only used like a couple of strings and then they had like a spotlight follow it and maybe just fish wire if that makes sense and it causes this effect it's really hard to say what this actually is but we're gonna hopefully get this revealed in the mv as well another beauty shot the one shot that really stands out for me is literally this particular shot. This shot looks so much bigger than what it is, but I have a feeling that it's literally the camera here in the corner and then there is a massive spotlight behind it. Like, it's a fantastic shot to make everything look bigger. Where is it? Uh, actually, there. it's really just a couple of seconds, like half a second max. But I like it. I love the aesthetic feel that we're getting from it. Again, it gives a bit of a mystery to it, as if someone is being watched with that big spotlight, those shadows, that dark vibe that you're getting from it. Really, really nice. And um, it fits the rest of the theme. And that's really it. I mean, let's go back again to see if we can pick up anything from those last couple of shots here. No, that's really it. The one thing that I, I, I really hope, though, is that this is all just there to set a, a mood. And again, I know that these are all mood samples. They're all trying to give a bit of a concept thrown out there. But I do hope that the sets are going to be more than what we see here because again I'm not a big fan of studio work and also not a lot has been done here you can even see the shadows of the fangs which I'm not a real big fan of it just makes this room look very very small and it would be maybe nicer if they just made the, the the backspace aka everything that is in the back just a little bit further away to give it a little bit more space to make everything look a little bit uh, further than what it is because right now it looks like she's literally standing like two three meters away from my back wall like what do you guys think do you think it's something that we can complain about or just discuss about then if so 
put it in the comments below. I would love to hear your ideas as well. But for me, I really think that still, you know, this headline of the highest budget being used for this MV, I cannot see it so far. It just looks real simple. That's all I have to say to it. I know this is very controversial and I'm going to get a lot of backlash for it again in the comments, but I just want to throw it out there. You know, if someone is really putting out these statements, they better live up to it. And of course, we are still not at the full MV, but it is something to still point out. So yeah, guys, this is the Pink Venom concept teaser from Roast, the second one. And I hope you guys can pick up some small informations that you might like and what you maybe don't like. If you do like these certain elements, then please tell us what in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback as well. And maybe also what you don't like. You can be honest here. Trust me, this is a sanctuary of honesty. You can be as negative as you want and no one is going to be talking bad back to you. So leave your comments down below and uh, I'll see you on the next video man this is actually exciting to see how this video is slowly revealing more and more i'll catch you on the next video guys